Hi, this is Dana Probert, Technical Marketing Manager for Civil Engineering at Autodesk, and I want to talk to you about Autodesk Subassembly Composer. You might have seen this when it was up on Autodesk Labs and thought, that's pretty cool, I can build simple geometry, I can build complex geometry, I can build all the parts that I don't already have in my catalog. But what about when the boss comes to you with a sketch? But what about when the boss comes to you with a sketch and says, I need a ditch, I need a simple ditch, and when it's in cut, it's no big deal. The water all stays in there, even if it goes a little bit higher. But when I'm in fill, when that ditch shows up in fill, I need a little more. I need a berm. I need something to keep it in. I need something to keep it from being this sharp, pointy side. So, ouch, what am I going to do? I need a berm. I need to go up. I need to go over. I need to go down. And I'll keep everybody happy, and we'll keep the water in. So how do we do that? So I go over into Subassembly Composer and I build some really, really simple geometry. Delta X and Delta Y, or Delta X and Slope to Surface, or Delta X and a slope that I type in. Drag and drop pieces over. And then I want to build that AP1 point, the point to test is my existing ground higher or lower than P2, and add a decision for behavior if my ditch winds up in a mostly cut situation or my ditch winds up in a fill situation. So is P2 higher or lower than AP1? I save the, save the file and I'm now going to import the packet file over in Civil 3D and see it in action. So now we built it. I'm going to go insert, import, import subassemblies and grab that PKT, that packet file and bring it over It'll pop up on my tool palette. I can add my own special icon for it if I want to. But really simple. I'm going to grab it and stick it on my subassembly and see how it behaves. Stick it on right there. I built in intelligence left versus right. Now I'm looking at my whole corridor. I've built, I built it, rebuilt my corridor. I'm going to use the drive command just to see how this behaves. So here I see I have that berm and then I enter in a condition where I am lower than existing ground, my water's going to stay in, nobody's going to get hurt, and everybody's going to be happy. So just the first in our series, look for Subassembly Composer on the Subscription Center later this week.